it's a really, really, really good one, y'all. All right, y'all. It's about, what time is it you got? 6.55. It's 6.55 in the morning. And yes, I do come out here this early, sometimes a little earlier than that. But the song got to be out. But other than that, we are about to fish for channel cats with bigger baits. Bigger than usual. Bigger than usual. I know a lot of people probably say, oh, them are regular size baits. You know, not for me. You know, usually when I use baits, I'm using night crawlers, shrimp, and shad. And I ain't talking about the gizzard shad that I have here. I'm talking about uh, your regular shad, you know, the smaller ones. And we cut them up into like two or three pieces. But this one, I can cut into like a few pieces. I won't be using the head because I feel like that would be a little bit overkill. Okay, I could have a fish on. He slacked me up real good. He didn't take no drag, which is kind of weird. But he slacked me up so bad, and he was really consistent with that. So I'm going to tighten it up a little bit, and I'm going to see if he's going to swim out. If he's swimming towards me, he probably won't tighten up the line. So what I probably end up doing is kind of reeling in just a little bit and see if I feel any pressure or any pull. Okay, here we go. Yep, I got him. Man, he's not big at all. See, see, I told you he's coming right towards me. Look at that. So he's not he's not making it a challenge. And that's not even a big channel cat. Wow, look how he's fighting though. See, look, not even a big channel cat. Off that bigger piece of bait. Look at that. He tore that boy up though. Yeah, look at him. He tore that bait up. Look, you can at least see him like five or six inches under the water. Cause it was like milk chocolate. Chocolate milk. Oh yeah, that's why he got a big old head on him for his size. Look at that. For his little size, he got a big head on him. Oh, he didn't waste no time. Look at that. You see that bait? Look at that. Now we're gonna throw another, yep. We're gonna throw another piece of uh, bait on here. Look what he did to that bigger piece of bait. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes you just gotta fish some bigger stuff just to have some extra fun. Can't be scared to put some bait on. All right, I believe I got something on. A little, another little strong channel cat. Or he ain't definitely necessarily strong. He could just be trying to muscle the bait. And at the same time, he's not really doing like no damage. He didn't even pull my drag. But the way he's handling that bait from the way my rod tip moving like he's doing a good job with getting his meal. Uh-oh. Oh, he got it right out of his mouth. <laughs> They got right out of his mouth. See, the reason why I give him time, because like I said, these baits are a little bit bigger than what I would usually use. And sometimes you kind of have to do that because the way channel cats bite, I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that they won't take it and run because they will. But, you know, when baits are a little bit bigger, sometimes they, oh, look at that. Wow, there's nothing on there. He annihilated the meat. There we go. That's here. Yeah. Okay, while we in the middle of this action right here, I think I got one on. Yeah, that one just yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, he might be on. Here we go. Let him take that and play with it, see what he do. I want this one right here. I hope I don't lose this one. Got him. I got him. Yep. Yep. Oh, he feels better than the uh, last one. That's for sure. He feels much better than the last one. Yeah, he feels much better than the last one. Oh, yeah. And he's most definitely pushing six pounds. Well, no, he's not. He just got a big head. These channel cats got some big heads. Yep, there you go. No, Dude, dude, just stop, bro. You caught. You just got to face the facts. No, he got, you know, it's because it's... He got, yeah, he got good, about a four pound channel cat. Yep. Look like a male right here. Oh, he is very long. Ain't he? Look how long he is. He's very long. Yep, he's very, he's very, very long. Let me see, it got him at the bottom of his mouth, so he was hooked pretty, pretty good. Look at that, look at this little that's about five pounds right there oh he is strong this channel cat got some muscle don't he <laughs> yeah look at that nice channel cat all right let him go 
All right, now we got both baits. Both uh, hooks are empty, clean. We getting more bait on here and see what we can do. Yeah, I'm liking this action right now. It's starting to start off pretty damn good, huh? All right, I got something out here pulling my drag so crazy. Sound like a zipper. Oh yeah, he's on. Come on. Look, I can see him going left, right. Come on. Come on, you, dude, man, what you? This is the big snake. He's gonna get it off. <laughs> oh, he feeling good now. Oh, he feeling good now. Yeah, he's feeling good now. Shayna, he's feeling good now. Oh, that head looks big for a second. Yep, got a, got a good channel cut right there. Yeah, get that net. Yep. Yep, this yep, this one is worth netting. Oh yeah, for sure. He's about what? Looking at him, he look like he's seven pounds. We're gonna actually weigh this one up to see. He could be high six, but the way his face is, I doubt it. Shoot, man, these channel cats be black. Sometimes they come out all you get the ones that come out the water black as this thing right here. No, for real. Or dark gray. No, he can't be on. Not right now. Okay, yeah, because I was like, man, uh, my drag my drag went crazy on that other rod, y'all. Yep, he got he decided to get off. <laughs> I was gonna be work I was gonna be doing a lot of work. All right, here we go. Yeah, because I can't get my hands around him at all. So we're gonna get the nice little weight on him real quick. Okay. Let's see, he weighs. He weighs six pounds. There you go. Yeah, so the other one had to be about five pounds. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he looks about six pounds. That's a nice channel cut right there. I would have to guess he about 23 inches. Look at that right clean in his face. Don't it look weird? Like he about <laughs> to bite you or something. All right, let's get him this beautiful fish. He's nice and mean looking. That's what I'm talking about. So we got like a four pound and a six pound off the rip. Yep, there you go. We're going to get a nice release. He's nice. All right. <laughs> the crazy thing about it, his head was big though. He had a big, big head. <laughs> yeah, he actually, that, that, he had a big head, that fish. Here we go, I got another one on goodness. Get him over here. Oh, oh, he way over. <laughs> the food didn't get off. He was big. Yep. He felt like he was bigger than that other one, but I ain't gonna, I'm just gonna chill. Man, what? All right, I wanna believe I have a fish on. I'm just waiting for him to, okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he could be on. Let's see how, the, let's see. Let's see what this fella do. Let's see what this. Okay. Yep, got one on. Finally. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> or did he get off? Ah, oh, no! Get off! Wow! Another fish just got off. As soon as you press the. <laughs> okay, so hopefully this time this fish don't come off. I'm gonna make sure I own this fish this time. Because two fish get off of me in a row. Oh! Oh, I, th I thought he got off this time. I thought he got off. I'm about to say, yeah. Uh, right there. Let me see where that hook at. Oh, I think it barely got him. <laughs> had to be quick. There we go. Another fish with a big head. Mm hmm. All right, another fish. What a nice head. Oh, that water warm as ever, dude. Feel him. <laughs> that water is nice and warm. Where did I get him at? Oh, yeah, look. Uh-oh. Other rod getting a bite. <laughs> or did he stop? Did you get the hook out of his mouth? No, I'm about to. Nope, I guess I didn't get a bite. Let's go back to this one. All right. Can I try? <laughs> Here we go. 
Yeah, gotta go ahead and do it. Let's see how we fucking. Yep, Ooh, there you go. Yep, well, this is about another, it's about another four pounds. It's a nice channel cat. Water is very, very warm, y'all. I can't say that. Look at, look at that. Look, he really wanted that bait because you can look at him. As soon as he get in the water, he's going to eat that. He's going to eat that. So put him, go ahead. <laughs> All right, that line got slacked up. I'm back over here. I'm looking because I'm trying to see if he's still going to come for it. I'm seeing a line coming in and out, which means another thing, he could probably be playing around with that bait. And then sometimes when it starts straightening up, that could be him running back out. The line stiffened up again, which means he's coming in and out. He probably got that bait in his mouth. It's time for me to go ahead and check that. Tight. Now I just sit here and let him work it. What I'm feeling for is how tight the pull is when he do pull. I'm feeling if it's even worth me setting the hook. Because if I feel a lot of little fluttering, I'm not sure if I'm 100%, then what I would do is if I'm not 100% sure, I would reel in just a little bit just to feel the uh, intensity of the bite and see in, uh, to, just to make sure if it's okay to set that hook. Yep, he got off. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw this out, I'm gonna throw these two rods out one last time and see if I can uh, come up on a fish with smaller bait instead of using the big chunks that I was using. So therefore I'm switching up. So stay tuned. Uh oh, Shannon, he nice. I think he nice. I think he better than that last one maybe. I just threw this out, look. I would say literally 20 seconds after it hit the water, bam! Uh -huh. There we go. I got to make up for the action I wasn't getting and those other fish that I was losing. And he feel nice, but he probably as big as that other one. You know, cat, channel cats fight, dude. Channel cats fight hard, hard as ever. You get your butt up here. Oh! There ain't no cat, that's why. What is it? I think I'm getting a bite on that one now. I want to take a picture. <laughs> it's on selfie mode, of course. Look, I think something was a little odder with that bite. I knew it because as soon as it hit the water 20 seconds, though, I, I mean, there. dude, it probably wasn't even that. It was so fast. And the, man, look at that. That's why I like circle hooks because if you do catch freshwater drum. What is on his back? Probably a, uh, probably a, uh, 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 uh. What you call it? Uh, wart. Nasty. Growth. I noticed uh, the last one I caught had one of those things on him too. And he's peeing on me because he <laughs> got issues. <laughs> there you go. That's about a seven pound right there. Freshwater drum. Let's weigh him. <laughs> no, he bought seven pounds. I know for a fact. You're going to weigh him up and we're going to see the same. Okay, she want to weigh him up. I'm going <laughs> to get it through there. You Really? You gotta be a. I'm holding like that. Yep, you can do it. What'd I say? Six, six pounds. Seven. Yep. So he, no, he a little, he a little past six though. So I was, I was, I was a little accurate. <laughs> I knew he's about six, six pounds. There you go. Let's get his little funny looking, funny over. looking tail out of here. There you go. <laughs> All right. I think I. Get up over here. I got you. I knew I did. He was swimming towards me. Look at that. And on top of that, it's about to start raining, so I need to get this fish in as fast as I possibly can. He feeling... Oh, he feeling real good. Oh, yeah. He feeling real, real nice. I can't see where he at. He went all the way up. Yeah. All right. You can run that stuff up to the car. Yeah. Oh, yep, he feeling good. Oh, yeah, he feeling real good. He's feeling real good. <clears throat> yep. Yep, look at this. Where, where's that hook at? Oh, I got him in a whisker. I don't even think I'm going to be able to get him up. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew I wasn't going to be able to get him up. It had him in a whisker. I, I gave it a shot, but I, we got to get out of here. It's starting to... 
starting to rain and whatnot. But there you have it. I'm getting this stuff up out of here because that rain is coming in kind of quick. And I don't want to destroy my GoPro because I don't have my uh, my uh, waterproof back door on. Because most of the time I don't like it. I like to hear me talk and express myself without no muffling sound. Hey, looking for more content? Well, please subscribe. Also like us on Facebook. And always remember, there's nothing wrong with a lot of fishing. Thank you for watching.